Yo. What's good, y'all? We got an iPhone 16 slash 16 Pro unboxing. You feel me, man? He's saying the end of the era. You feel me? I don't even mean by that, but um, yeah. Then oh, okay. iPhone 16. Wait, okay. iPhone 16. iPhone 16 Pro. I have one char, one change to the boxes. Goodbye, sticker. Oh, no more stickers. Say so change. Okay, that's what I mean. Okay, I was like, what do you mean by end of the era? No more stickers. Okay, dang. That's a. That's a. Yeah, that's definitely in there right there, though. We need somebody, I mean, you know, use some stickers, though, no cap. But, um, let's, let's see how the phone is in there, you know what I'm saying, in the hands, for sure. So, it's a bit of a tradition around here to un- dun, 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 dun. Ain't no more stickers. They trying to, so, they trying to make, so they putting less stuff in there now. They, they ain't no more bricks. That angle out that angle out when they had no more bread, that was that was a big you know, in the air right there. Like that was that was you know what I mean? That's an OG move right there. I was like, you know, no more stickers. That's that's definitely in the air right there, no more stickers. So now they just got what a charger. Oh well, I forgot they got a phone and a charger, right? That's it. Oh what a, I forgot, I don't know what they got. Unbox the newest iPhones on the day they come out. They probably trying to make um for the environment probably. And we're up. I already don't know, really. I don't know. Building this tradition this year to find one. Oh, they already got cases for single difference versus last year's unboxings. So we've got four iPhones here. It says single difference. <laughs> one single difference versus last year's unboxings. So we've got four iPhones here in new colors iPhone 16 and 16. Oh, that's the pro. I'm, I'm, I, I, shit, I said, I said, they got cases for it. That's the pro. Oh, shit. 16 plus. Which I got sneaky, though. Bless me. The boxes show the back of the phones, and Bless then 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, which show the front. And I'm totally gonna start with the base phones, the crowd favorites. Yeah, I know. I'm, you know, I know. If I do get one, I'm getting a Pro. This year, finally some colors back in the iPhone lineup. So I'm gonna call this one the flagship color. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why Pros don't got colors like different colors. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get black. You know, black everything. You feel me? On some, on some simple shit. I'm just saying, though, like, they don't got different colors, man. you know? The right one will do. Not regular, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. This is the Ultramarine iPhone 16. And in the box, you get the USB-C cable, again, braided and high quality, and then a tiny little bit of paperwork in this pill shape. And then you'll notice, no SIM card tool, same as last year, and no stickers this year. Damn, so they trying to... They they doing the less. They doing the less and less. I probably got a charger. I mean, they're not a brick, but I'm probably got. You know what I'm saying? There are no stickers included in the iPhone 16 box. Damn, they said they, they said fuck the stickers. Damn. At all. Truly, the end of an era. They just can't stop removing things. They can't help themselves. But let's get a look at the pink plus size phone too. These phones. Right, those are brick. Now is the now is the stickers. Well, hang like who still use stickers though? Let me know. Let me know comment below. Who's, who, hang like who uh, still still use stickers, y'all? Let me know comment below. Are the same sizes as last year? Six point one inches for the base, six point seven inches for the plus. But with the bigger batteries inside, that's something I'm really happy to hear about and very curious about in my testing. But really, I'm just happy we finally have colors back. See the back of the phone. It's yeah, I was saying like, see that that should look fire though. See then the pro look all bland and shit. I mean, I like black, so it doesn't matter. But some people like colors and shit, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. They, they show love to the Filmy 16 and 16 Plus, but 16 Pro was like, I mean, I kind of, I kind of figured because it's a pro, so that's how make guys a thing, like, it's serious and shit, you feel me? It's, the, it's, it's you know, top quality and shit. It's, you feel me? Like, I'm, I'm already known. It's a little more pale, but the glass around the camera is a bit darker. The rails of the phone are a bit darker. So, this is nice. Same stuff in the box. Uh, it looked nice though, and it? it looked nice. Now with these pro phones, I think there's a reason they show the front of the phone on the box because if they show the back, you literally could not tell the difference versus last year. But hey, at least this one has slightly thinner bezels they can show. And yeah, this here is going to be the natural titanium. I see why though. It looked kind of look. They ain't the same, but it, it's similar. Team yeah, Pro. I see why they. And. Aside from the lack of stickers in the box, it's gonna look and feel basically exactly like a titanium iPhone 15 Pro. Same USB-C cable as the base phone as well, great. 
But then all the thing is with this phone versus the 15, they got a lot of new features though on the phone though. That's 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 the only way you can tell. Like you know what I mean on that what, what, that side shit that was talking about with the camera. This is the new flagship. And the, the new camera shit. The pro color, oh, yeah. the renders we saw, and it, and it's bigger a little bit, cause you know I got 15 Pro, but it's, but it's a little bigger. So, but um, yeah. First, we're kind of weird, but this is the official desert titanium color. Now, you know, all of Apple's phones are, again, a bit more pale on the back, but they have more color on these rails, and that's definitely true again here. It's kind of a, like a light sand color, but also feels similar to the gold of the past. But there you have it. That's the iPhone 16's unboxing experience. So by the time you see this uploaded, that means I am deep into my iPhone 16 testing and working on the full review. So definitely get subscribed to see that when it drops. But if there are any things that you specifically want to see talked about more or that haven't been talked about enough for the review of the phones, let me know in the comment section below. But I can still give you now some quick things that I've noticed in my first couple days, my first week of testing some FAQs. So first up, there is a size difference versus last year. The base phones are the same sizes, like I said, 6.1 and 6.7 inch in the same body sizes, but the Pro phones are both bigger. The 16 Pro goes from 6.1 to 6.3 inches, and even though it has thinner bezels, yes, the phone is slightly taller and... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, it's, it's slightly different, yeah. It's more tall, yeah. Slightly wider. And then the 16 Pro Max goes from 6.7 inches to 6.9 inches diagonally, which Damn. is now just an absolutely gigantic phone. I mean, it was already huge, but it's now even taller and wider. Biggest phone they've ever made. If you look at it next to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, that's another absolutely huge phone for some content. Text, and that phone has a stylus in it. So obviously, Apple's put more battery in this phone, which is great to see. I'm glad they're not. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about that battery shit. Last long battery. Going the opposite direction of like making it thinner or shrinking the batteries. But yeah, just it's definitely good to know if you're going with the new Pro Max this year, you are getting a truly huge, like borderline tablet sized phone. Also, random tidbit thanks to these new cameras up in the corners, these new iPhones are big time table rockers. Like, big time un <laughs> yeah, right on them cameras, uneven yeah. camera on the back. It's annoying to me because I type on the table sometimes. Anyway, I've also been taking some pictures and videos with the new cameras. I'll be taking and posting many no, I'm pictures of five, though. Pictures of five. Many more. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that's where you'll see some more in the next couple days. But I'll link that below. Many, many more. If you want to follow me on Instagram, uh -oh. that's where you'll see some more in the next couple of days, but I'll link that below. My first impression is it's it's kind of remarkable how consistent Apple's image processing pipeline is to get the same look every year. Like a lot of times we see companies switch sensors, even the Pixel switch sensors after using the same old one for a while and the whole look kind of changed, but it really feels like year over year, no matter how many hardware changes, no matter how many sensor changes these phones go through, they still just have very much have the iPhone look, which I mean, makes sense. This just shallower depth of field from the larger physical sensor. I have also run mm -hmm. some benchmarks. So these are the new Geekbench 6 scores for the new A18. Oh, the A18 okay. Pro in these phones, which are new versus last year. Really not noticing like a huge difference in performance with these brand new phones. Obviously, you're gonna feel that more at the very high end and in the long term as these phones age. But what Geekbench also did reveal is all of these phones across the board have eight gigs of RAM now. So there's typically been different amounts of RAM in the Pro phone versus the regular phone. Now there's not. Now they all have eight gigs of RAM. So Apple was giving us a lot of talk in that keynote about how these are the first phones built from the ground up for Apple intelligence. Is that what this means? I mean, you clearly need a lot of memory. <laughs> he was like, hey, he was like, that, that what I mean? Ready to run these AI models. And there's also a more powerful neural engine on all the phones versus last year. So maybe that's a part of it too. But all that talk and these phones all launch with iOS 18.0, which has exactly zero Apple intelligence features on them at launch out the box. So then we got so what they said it ain't, it ain't nothing on that phone. So we if we, if we do get the phone right, if some people do get that phone. It ain't nothing what they said at launch. That's crazy though. Box, but that's a rant for another day. But <laughs> nah, that's crazy though. So basically, yeah, they say all oh, that shit. <laughs> Like, they ain't, ain't put buying the phone then if you ain't gonna do what I want. Like, well, got it, 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 so they ain't so basically they ain't ready for it then.
But if I mean, you know, update, you know, I do updates. But clearly, the biggest physical new change on these new phones is this added button here. And Apple refused to call it a button in the keynote and then doubled down. They also, they did a bunch of like executive interviews on various YouTube channels that you can go watch from that day. And even in those interviews, they continue to refuse to call it a button. It's so weird. To, to just put out the biggest burning fire right up front in the discourse. It is a real button, right? Ah. <laughs> it's 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 a physical thing that depresses, right? I think it's a first of its kind. It's there is a there is a, a tactile switch yes. that gives you that that. Damn, that one's that button. Final click. So just to clear it up, it is an actual moving, clicking, physical button that yeah. is called camera control. <laughs> but it's also it's more than a button. It's also made it to all these phones, not just the pros. So let me jump into that. This camera control button as the name implies, only controls camera related things. So it's not like another action button, it's a camera control button. You can hit it once, it opens up the camera. You can hit it again to take a photo, and then you can hold it down to start recording a quick video. But it's also a large capacitive touch sensitive surface with a vibration motor underneath. So it doesn't actually half press, but with that vibration motor, it can mimic the feeling of a half press like a real camera would have. And you can double tap to flip through various oh, camera controls. That's fine though, they got that shit. It, you know. Controls uh, like zoom or photographic styles or tone. It takes some getting used to. I mean, these swipes, they also, you can see have momentum physics too. So you can swipe too fast or too far and go past what you were aiming for or zoom past where you thought you would. So it can feel a bit finicky and silly as you start using it, especially since you can literally do all this stuff with the buttons already on the screen. But when you use camera control, all of the rest of those buttons just fade away and disappear, kind of encouraging you to continue using the camera control to find what you're trying to do. It's really interesting. Uh, the placement feels like it was made with landscape in mind, but landscape ideally would have been at the corner. Uh, but they also know a lot of people take photos and videos like this, so it can't be all the way at the bottom, so they moved it up. So it's kind of mm. splitting the difference here. Uh, and also third-party apps will be able to plug into it if they use the camera. So this is already working with Kino and it's supposed to start working with Snapchat pretty soon as well. And you can imagine other apps that use a camera will just dis oh, that's fine. Yeah, okay. decide what they want to do with it. I was also curious though, and I said this in that original impressions video, how cases would deal with this new button surface thing. So it turns out there's basically two options. Option number one is just a cutout in the side of the case. Uh, just cut it out, expose it to the finger. So it's fine. That's probably what most cheap cases will do, but that also means it's no longer going to be flush with the side of the case. Mm. But then there's option number two, which is what Apple's first party cases do, which is putting in this little insert, which has glass and transfers the capacitance from the button outside of the case to the camera control of the phone itself and maintaining that flush feel. And it feels like it works pretty well. The half press still works fine. The swiping still works oh, fine. Okay, the vibration okay, motor okay. transfers through. And the Beats by Dre cases also already have this. Uh, Beats by, okay, Beats. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that again real quick in case you were just phasing out for a second. There's Beats by Dre iPhone cases now. <laughs> like, since when does Beat? Yeah, I ain't no Beats by Dre got cases. Yeah, I said, I heard that shit. I'm like, damn, they got cases now? So they got Beats in cases? Beats make cases. Like, yeah. why does Beats make cases? I thought, I don't know, if there was a theme of like Beats being audio products, but there's something new going on here. Maybe now they're just iPhone accessories. I don't know. But yeah, they've got a nice little camera control button thing on their new iPhone cases which is nice. I kind of wish, and I'm not alone, uh, that this was also Touch ID, but then they couldn't call it camera control, I guess. I, I wonder if that's in the future of this button. But anyway, speaking of third-party accessories, that's where Dbrand stepped in to sponsor this video. So for this sponsor segment, we're gonna be doing something a little All right, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Right, I'll have a link. Uh, but if you want to check these out for the iPhone or any number of phones that they make for it, I'll have a link below. All right, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Anyway, man, like it up. Sell my channel, man. Let me know what y'all think about the new phones, new iPhone 16. I need, I need the. Um...
pre-orders this Friday, and then next, then the next following week is just the the, the, um, the phone. So let me know y'all gonna um, buy it. Let me know y'all, man. Um, you show the after the regular one, and then you show the pro. So let me know y'all gonna buy it. Though. Let me know in the comment below. But um, yeah, like it up, sub, and um, yeah, right. peace.